my name is Robin. I'm Leonido from BS Ed Science SC12. Today, I'm going to interview someone from Sydney, Australia. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Um, how, are you, how are you today? I'm good. How are you, Ruby? I'm good, thank you. So, um, are you ready? Yes, yes. Okay, that's good to hear. So, yeah, um, what's your name? My name is Nicole Johnson. And what country are you from or where do you currently live in right now? So I am, I, I was born in Philippines and I am, um, I'm currently living here in Sydney, Australia. Mm. So um, how, old are you? how old are you? I am 28. Wow, you look um, younger. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> so how would you identify yourself gender wise? So I am female. I was born, and I am a biological female. So, um, what are the typical foods served in Australia? Like, is there a staple food for a majority of Australians? Moreover, what is the go-to food? We're a multicultural society, so we eat a variety of different foods. So um, I think the go-to food is like McDonald's, uh, fast food, yeah, probably the same everywhere, <laughs> not just Australia. Okay, okay, thank you for answering your question. Uh, how do people usually greet or call each other? Say, hello, how are you? Good day. <laughs> if ever a person visited, like a relative from a different country visited, how would they usually be welcomed in the house? Oh. Uh, I think they'd be welcomed with open arms. There's no, there's no, um, you know, no, no hatred, no uh, reason to not welcome everyone of different cultures. That, that's why Australia is like, the number one multicultural country mm -hmm. in the world. Mm, that's good to hear. So, okay, so, um, Speaking of relatives and families, each culture has their own norms around weddings, births, even deaths. What about in Australia? Right, okay. So, to do with weddings, births and deaths, what it's like mm -hmm. here in Australia. There's nothing too different here in Australia when it comes to weddings, births and deaths. It's about mm -hmm. the same like everywhere else in the world. Uh, mm -hmm. people, people gather together family and friends um, whenever there are important events like that to mark an occasion yeah. so it's always a good thing to have um, to, to be surrounded by family and friends. Okay, so um, about religion, what's the dominant religion in your country with that? What's your religion? So I believe it would be Christianity or, or uh, sorry, Catholic. Um, I am Catholic myself, but there is a large group of Muslims here as well. Um, so, yeah, just a diverse um, range of religions, but I believe uh, Christianity or, or um, Catholicism, they, they are the big um, dominant religion here in Australia. So, um, what is considered as the most respectful or disrespectful in um, Australian culture? Uh, respectful, I, I would say, is when you have manners or, or you greet someone, ask how mm -hmm. are they are, hello, how are you? Um, that, mm -hmm. That's always respectful, please, thank you. And mm -hmm. disrespectful is just the, the opposite of that. Thank you. Um, okay, so individual success, how do people perceive it? Uh, individual success, it can vary between diff um, different people. Um, your success can be measured um, in, a, in a small or a large amount. Uh, it, it can be as simple as, you know, completing uh, a task um, to do with your job or, uh, or I can't think of anything else just um, yeah, you know um, success in your job or or um, if you 
doing so something new, accomplishing uh, something new in your life. Uh, that that's always success. Um, it can be happiness. Um, money money isn't always the answer. So, it can be simple joys. That's right. Okay. So um, for the last question, time management. How is time understood and interpreted? Like, if a business meeting was set at two p.m., what time would you come in for it to be considered appropriate or rude? So time is always important. Time management. Um, if if the meeting is at two o'clock, you show up two o'clock or um, you know five minutes before, so five to ten minutes before, so you can prepare for the meeting. So um, you should always be on time. Um, and don't follow binoy time. <laughs> Mm. All right, for question number one, before doing any research whatsoever, I had an impression that the Australian culture was a heavily British culture with many of them loving adventure in the Outlands and being beach people. I knew that they eat meat like American level kind of righteousness too. I also believe that their culture was a Christian influence culture since Britain is a predominantly Christian culture. Um, I know that they are a rich country with a good government since I can hardly hear any news of any of their government officials being involved in some sort of scandal or being charged with graft or corruption. Overall, the Australian culture is a pretty nice culture and living there would be a good option. Especially that I know many of my friends having migrated there. For question number two, Australia's culture is heavily influenced by the Anglo-Celtic culture and British culture. So the British influence started on 1788 when Britain settled New South Wales as a penal colony. Um, fast forward after World War II, in the second half of the 20th century, immigration rules were relaxed and large influxes of immigrants and refugees from Eastern Asia, Middle East, and various continental European countries came into Australia. This caused an um, indelible imprint on continent's culture. Moreover, a revival of Aboriginal identity and positive measures from the government to redress past wrong along the, with increase in the Aboriginal population has created a renaissance in the Aboriginal arts. For question number three, understanding and respect in the future. The information I have incorporated with this activity will definitely allow me to better deal with people from different cultures. Even here in the Philippines, where there is a subculture within a culture, um, knowing that what questions to ask and not to ask will already save me a lot of trouble due to embarrassment. This will also save me from possible disrespectful behavior. Um, different cultures have different perspectives. And as a person who might possibly visit these various cultures, I must be the one who will adjust contrary to what movies portray where the place being visited has to adjust. Still, I think it would be the best to meet somewhere in the middle as that's what bringing cultural gap is all about. Thank you so much for watching and God bless.